going on, people? So we are back. Back live. A bunch of tyrants, people. Oh, they got the supervisor down here now. Thank you, 918. I got a feeling this ain't gonna go very well today. No. So, I was gonna let people get in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the story of what's going on here. So about a year ago, I fought my way into this place to record upstairs. And uh, it took about a week to do so. But we did it. And then, uh, first, what's a First Amendment auditor? I've yet to understand what a First Amendment auditor is. But uh, anyway, so I finally got in there. Well, I need to go upstairs to get some paperwork for a lawsuit that I'm filing against them. See, they're all pissed off right now because I filed grievances with the U.S. Marshal Services against them. So they're all pissed off, right? you know, that's what they're all pissed off about. But anyway, so uh, I got up here oh, a couple weeks ago to go upstairs and get some uh, packets to file a federal lawsuit. And uh, they wouldn't let me in the building because they said I got to have an ID to get in, right? Well, I don't have an ID. So I went and dug up an old, uh, an old license that I had to have a form of ID and uh, So I come up here to, to do it, and now they're refusing my entry anyway. So that, what they're doing is they're you're refusing to for me to be, refusing me to be able to obtain services that they legally have to provide. So I mean, it's it's a civil rights violation, and uh, when I be leaving here today, here in a little while, I will be going strictly to the FBI investigation office, and we will be filing grievances with the FBI to investigate this. They think it's all a bunch of joke. They ain't gonna take the, they ain't gonna think it's a joke when the, the complaint hits them. Like I said, it's already been filed with the U.S. Marshal Services. Yeah. And they're not gonna think it's funny when the FBI starts their investigation and the, the uh, State Attorney General's office gets involved and brings charges against them. They're not gonna think it's pretty funny, is it? So you, the people, are just now coming in. I was live on my other channel a while ago. I went ahead and went uh, live on my big channel because. I want everybody to be aware of it. I want everybody to redress your government. Light their fucking phones up. Melt them some bitches down. That's what I'd do. Mods, if y'all can keep posting that number, light them up. Let them know they're pieces of shit. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Mad Cat. Call them. Let them up. If you want to call the uh, FBI investigation, uh, the FBI field investigation office, and let them know. Absolutely, feel free. Nine one eight. Is that the uh, other video from the beginning? Please hold. <laughs> That's good. Melt them down. Nominate. Yeah, they're not too happy that I'm out here. That's all right, though. People redressed by government. All they're doing is making this lawsuit against them so much better. So much better. The Declaration of Independence, they damn sure don't know what none of this is, do they? Yes. Hey, y'all need to come out here and read this. See this shit on the wall? Yeah. This is what y'all need to come read.
like I said, guys, what they're doing is they are blocking me from being able to go upstairs and get a 1983 packet, which is a federal law that takes their qualified immunity away. I can sue them in their uh, personal capacity. That's what they're doing. That's exactly what they're doing. It's completely, strictly a civil rights violation here. Mm -hmm. Oh no, Hot Rod, it, it'll accomplish it. it. This is what I had to do last time, over and over and over, and the phone calls and phone calls before I finally got the chief judge uh, actually aware of the issue that was going on, and the chief judge told him they had to let me in. This, I mean, I've done this a year ago, the exact same thing a year ago. The exact same thing a year ago. I went through this. Oh, Hot Rod, this is a civil rights violation. Absolutely it is. <laughs> so, Hot Rod, upstairs, they have a, uh, the, court, the court clerk's office, they have a 1983 packet that you can, uh, that you fill out along with the paperwork to file uh, the 1983 lawsuit without having to pay for it. And all that stuff's upstairs. And they were refusing me entry to go upstairs and get it because they know what I wanted. They know exactly what I'm up here for. And that they're refusing me entry. See, Hot Rod, I just put in, oh, last week or week before last, I put in uh, quite a few complaints with the U.S. Serval, U.S. Marshal Services. And, uh, and uh, they're upset because they've probably been reprimanded because of their, act, you know, their activities. So, the 1983 lawsuit packet is what it is. And after I leave here, I'll be going straight to the FBI, FBI field agent agency to, uh, to file my complaints with them too. We're just gonna get this ball really good rolling. Melt it down, people. Call and let them know what you think. See, I did this last week or week before last, tried to come up here and they wouldn't let me in because I didn't have an ID, which is clearly a uh, Fourth Amendment violation. There's nowhere in a law or no, no SCFR, no, no nothing that says you have to have an ID to enter a building. None whatsoever. So, but they have a policy. Well, policy is not completely law. So, they're making people give up their Fourth Amendment right just to go through to the building. Well, thank you, uh, Kimmy. Post the chief judge's number. Hell yeah. Post all the judge's numbers. And this little, this dude right here, oh, well, he moved. This little dude right here, he's got little man syndrome. He thinks he's a big hot shot. This is what he thinks. He wouldn't last a minute on the streets. Not even a second. Little cocky bastard. By all means, people call the judge and let them know how you think about this. The whole purpose right now, just standing out here, is just to, to just completely antagonize them. That's, that is what I'm doing right now, is antagonizing. I will be tell you straightforward, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm making them get pissed off. That's exactly what I'm doing. They refuse to call their supervisors down here. Yeah.
like I said, I don't see this ending very well today because I'm not going to give up. Yeah, the, 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 the uh, civil court rules. See, this is what we fought last time. They, hand, they kept trying to pay, hand me all this paperwork saying you can't record in the courtrooms and construed it to the the four doors of the four years and hallways and corridors, which it strictly says in the rule book, you cannot record in the courtrooms. Now, the judge can put out a temporary order of no recording in the courthouse, period, if he has a case that is overflowing in the hallways, corridors, or common areas. But I'm telling you now, there's no case that's overflowing anywhere. They're a bunch of tyrants, is what they are. They're jackboot pieces of shit. And that guy right there, I'm gonna get his name. I got somebody that knows facial recognition. I can get, his, I can get his, take his face, his picture, and uh, I'll get his name. And I will make sure that I, I distribute his personal information all over the place. It's called public records. Public records. Texas Justice had nothing to do with that. I didn't take your wrench away. The new channel owner did. A lot of people's wrenches got taken away. It had nothing to do with money. But you got your wrench back. It had nothing to do with money. Someone stops me, will be in. So, will I go later on the radio? They said, a First Amendment auditor. I'm still trying to figure out what a First Amendment auditor is. Can someone tell me what a First Amendment auditor is? I don't know what a First Amendment auditor is. That's what they, that's what they called me, was a First Amendment auditor. I, I, I don't know what a First Amendment auditor is. Can anybody in the chat tell me what a First Amendment auditor is? Albert, I got more information on you than you can imagine, buddy. What's up, Gage? You can tell he's pissed. If I can drink, he's drinking on the floor. I go, now it's empty. <laughs> this is the dude off the Bill Cosby show. <laughs> <laughs> It's some type of soft sid. Uh, First Amendment auditor is a soft sid. What the hell is a soft sid? Oh, wait, that's our government. Our government are sovereign. They clearly stated on all their paperwork that they are a sovereign government. Well, Albert, don't fuck up and you won't be.
Oh, no, they can clearly hear me, people. You see that? That's open up there. They can clearly hear me. I support my tyrant mods, too. Guys, get that number posted. Ring them off the hook. Redress your government. Oh man, buddy. No, you're all right. If you're going in there, be careful. There's a bunch of tyrants in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's a bunch of tyrants in there. Be careful. A bunch of pieces of shit. That's the man got a little man syndrome. Motherfucker bucked up like a banny rooster a while ago. Like he's going he to crow and, and go, on, go forth for us. He's supposed to be on his phone while he's on uh, while he's working. I think that's his policy. Yeah. I'm not done. This is part of it right here, buddy. This is exactly what I had to do last time. Until we get through to the right person. Right, get off your phone. Was he looking at porn or some shit? Probably kitty porn. Fucking pedo. He has a face of one, don't he? Look at that face. It wouldn't surprise me either, outlaw. Well, they don't realize I'll show up here at closing hours and I'll follow them to their car and I'll get their tag numbers and their whole nine yards and there ain't a damn thing they can do about it. Amazing, ain't it? All right. He keeps moving stuff in front of his face, you see that? If you try to give his face off the camera. <laughs> Where I got my law degree? Do you know YouTube? Do you know that? Can I ask where you got yours at? The purpose is then to go for me to get my paperwork. That's all I want is my paperwork. See, after I'd done this last time, I finally got to get up and record after they finally found out they was wrong and did all the thing I wanted to do last time, I left them alone for over a year. Now all I need to do is give a paperwork, my packet. You know what's crazy is, I even told them, I said, look, if y'all haven't bring it down to the front desk here, I don't even need to go upstairs. Just bring the paperwork down here to the, the security desk or here, and I said, I'll pick it up here. I said, this would be, nope, they wouldn't do it. They are completely restricting my right to the building and refusing service that they have to provide.
That's cool, all right, I'm glad. What kind of law degree she get? Civil, criminal, family, a bunch of different, different, different types of laws. It's funny though, there's so many different types of laws, law degrees you can get, I mean, which one? <laughs> Not law. <laughs> like I said, people, redress your government. We're gonna step out and smoke me a cigarette while we wait patiently here and piss them all off. That is my goal. My goal is to piss them off today. I am here antagonizing them. That is exactly what I'm here to do today. Absolutely. Because they can't, I don't know. Uh, I am not Don, you're an idiot. Um, I know I'm right. I know I'm completely right. And I also know one more, more, one more arrest will put me in jail for a long time. I'm not willing to take a false arrest. I just need, I need three of those packets in the form to fill out for, uh, to file my, uh, the fees without, uh, having money. I don't even get the money filing fees. We got some tires, guys. I stepped outside to smoke. Actually, I better move down because I think I gotta be within 25 feet of the doors. Let me move down a little quick. These big ass fucking ball cameras. You just flip them off. That's what I do. See that? You flip them off. I'll move away from that door, though. Man, somebody's shit got jacked. That's what happens in Tulsa, Oklahoma when you leave your bike tied to that bike rack. And at the federal courthouse. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Right underneath all these big ass cameras. This is what happens to Joe shit. Mm hmm. <laughs> Got Jack. There's a library. Well, that's where you gotta learn to lie at. They don't go there and look up the Constitution, do they? I keep walking in front of the door and we'll get myself trouble. Look at this. Way up underneath the bushes, people. Look at this. Isn't this some shit? This guy right here, he keeps walking around the building, checking me out. I gotta stay out in front of the door, I'll smoke my cigarette. So uh, what I'm gonna do here in a second, is I'm going to uh, put the stream on hold, and I'm gonna make my phone call up to the uh, the judge and then leave my message again see the last time I was here they wouldn't give me the judge's name number or nothing no emails no nothing they're I mean they're, they're tyrants they're pieces of shit <laughs> do <Doy. laughs> The library is where you go to learn to lie at. So, um, oh, look. He came outside to see if I left. Look, look at him. He's speaking over in the bushes. Look. look. This motherfucker, look. 
I was going to walk away for a minute and go make my phone call, but since they want to be stupid, I'll go back. My bird want to play piggy boo out the doors. We're going to go back in now. <laughs> he just wants to be famous. No, I've already done my hand signals outside. They already they're already aware of it. Yeah. Yeah, I've got people all set all around the building. They're paying attention, they're watching. They're doing their damage to stay off the camera, look at them. They keep going way back over there to stay off the camera. Bunch of pansy asses. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. Watch this, now we'll go over here behind this bush again and watch y'all come back out, see if I'm gone. Watch. We are about to head to the, uh, the FBI field office. So guys online, if you go to the uh, US Marshal Services website, you can actually file a complaint. Watch, we're gonna sit right here on this rock behind this bush. They can't see me. Watch, they'll come out. Watch. So uh, if you go online and go to the US uh, Marshal's uh, webpage, you can actually file a complaint. Uh, if I can get a mod to look that up, that complaint page, that'd be awesome. You want me to go in front of the window and do, a, do hand signals? I'll do it. Old Trump because that's good. I'm glad you did. Doy, you can go ahead and just chunk that. Because I can't do a panel on this channel right now. I'm out of hours. Wait till he comes out. All right. Trying to keep an eye on the door. Time to blink off.
We're gonna do some hand signals. Still doesn't think about hand signals. Look there in the window. I don't know if you can see it or not. They're not moving around. They're not locking the hand signals. Not at all. They're not locking the hand signals at all. Look, they're staring in the window. Look, I mean, they are not like, oh, yeah, you only can't see them. They're right there in the window. Hmm. Y'all see him standing there? Yeah, you can't, you can see kind of. <laughs> he's, he's doing hand signals. <laughs> That is fucking hilarious. Mm. He's standing right there looking at me. You see him moving right there, look at him. You see his hand right there. That's him standing there. <laughs> <laughs> They're not liking it at all. Mm. Look at him, he's just sitting there with his hands crossed looking at me. Oh, oh, are they coming? Uh oh, they're coming. Here they come. Maybe. See them moving. They didn't like the hand signals. I can't see them now, I don't know where they moved to. Oh, there's one of them. One of them's back. I can see one of them. Thank you, Kimmy. Oh, there he's back. You can see his bald head now. Oh, there he is. You see his bald head. Look at him. There they are. Meow.
He's on that phone pecking at it. He's a, he's a goddamn woodpecker the way he's pecking at that phone. <laughs> Fucking dumbasses, man. I look, guys, I called up there and I talked to him. Say, hey, look, all you got, I mean, if you can just bring him down to the, to the security desk, I said, I'll pick my papers up there. I said, I don't even have to come upstairs. I have really no want to be up there. I just want my paperwork. And uh, they won't even do that. Look, he, he's doing the same motions I just did. He's doing my hand signal. That was great. <laughs> oh, that's good shit. <laughs> he acted like he was taking a hat off his head and shit. Oh, is he coming out? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd you go, George? Which way did you go? Where'd you go, George? Come back, George. Let me see that bald head again, Mr. Clean. There you go. You walk over this way now. It's hard to see through the dark windows. All right, guys. So we're about to uh, move around. So I can go sit down and make my phone call to the judge. Guys, the more people we have calling them, the better we are. I need people to redress that government. Oh, what I'm doing right now is antagonizing them. That's exactly what I'm doing. Yes. That's my purpose right this moment. Yes. It's just to piss them off. That is, that is absolutely my point right now. Yes, absolutely. I'll be frankly honest with you. My, my whole point right now is just to piss them off. I'm probably not as good as fur he is, but you know, it works. All right, people, we're going to walk off and uh, watch. Look, they're hollering. Hang on. We might have a world star moment. Hang on. They're screaming. World star. World star.
<laughs> all right. I guess that's not gonna happen. I was waiting for it. Irish Green, fuck you. I'm like, all right, let's fuck him. Fuck him up. What's going on, bud? Uh -huh. I thought we were gonna see World Star for a second. Keep watch. Let's watch behind us. He popped out while I go. If I get so far down here, their cameras can't see me. They hide behind a bush. Anyway, so it is cold out here. Uh, I'll keep the camera facing we all can see behind me. Um, see who pops out or not. But we are going to walk back to a safe location and uh, make my phone calls. I don't know how many people have made phone calls, but the more the merrier. Uh oh, the gate's still open and I'm right here. You better get somebody out here. Oh, oh no, the gate ain't closing fast enough. I don't know, I can't see if anybody's popped out or not, but either here or there. I'm around the corner now. But this is the backside of it. So that back corner over there is a federal marshal's corner. So make sure you get a good flip off. Yeah. Yeah. Get in the mafia. Get that ass. So there was a guy here a while ago that every time I came outside, he was outside with me. And he went in the gated area here a while ago. So I'm sure. He was probably told to see if he could find out where I was going. What they don't realize is they still never find out where I'm going. I'll be picked up here in a minute. So guys, what we're gonna do, this is the plan. All right. The plan is to get back to the safe location. I'm gonna call the judge and everybody else myself. And uh, speak my piece. And then we're gonna go to the federal, uh, the FBI investigation office. Yeah, <laughs> look. Hang on, y'all ready? So this guy walking down this sidewalk right here. Hang on, can y'all see him? Is a uh, federal marshal. See him walking? That guy right there. The federal marshal. Yeah, no deal. Uh, some good shit, ain't it? Wait for him. Wait for him. Ah, in front of he's hiding. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh wait, you know what? I forgot I gotta go this way. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot I go back over here.
That's some funny shit. So how I know he's a federal marshal? <laughs> he's one of the ones I've dealt with before over a year ago. Look, you remember how fast he was walking, right? He's not walking that fast now, is he? Uh. Oh, that's good shit, people. They think they're fucking slick. There'll be another one here in a minute, watch. He's not the only one. But it is to me the last couple of times I've been up here. I'm gonna follow him. Absolutely, I'm gonna follow him. The hunty has now become the hunted. So I'm assuming there will be another one coming through here somewhere. He's not walking that fast now, is he? <clears throat> walking kind of slow, if you ask me. Oh, oh, there's a sheriff. <laughs> this is fun stuff. You gotta love it. Oh, there's two sheriffs. Ooh, damn. There goes the sheriff. And there goes the sheriff. That's good shit. Oh, I can't see them car numbers this far away. Shit. This is fun though. All because I want some fucking paperwork, people. This is all because I want paperwork. Amazing, you don't it? Absolutely amazing. I look. I get to walk. He's looked back a few times. Time to split. <coughs> well, I need a fucking bicycle with a motor on it. I just need to get another one of them lime scooters. Where them lime scooters at? We're having some fun on a lime scooter. All right, people, citizen safety. Oh, that's good shit. I don't care who you are, people. That's some good shit. All right, guys, so all I want to do is I want to end this live stream, all right, and uh, I'll go live again here in just a little bit. I'm going to make a few phone calls. No, nothing happened. Me, just me being an asshole to them because they're being an asshole to me. Something happened. But, uh, like I said, guys, I'll be back live here in a little bit. I won't get off here. I'm going to make my phone calls. Oh, damn, they got a hybrid drone rolling around town now, too. Jesus Christ. I don't think it's all for me, though. It might be hell. I don't know. I was doing hand signals. They don't like them hand signals. And I know why Furry does it. Hmm. 
How you going, people? We got a lurker. A lurking. <laughs> That's funny shit. Anyway, back on that farm. All right, guys. So, um, I guess I won't get off here. I'll make a few of my phone calls. Yeah, they are too, because where I'm at, I've had now two troopers pull in and, and uh, a sheriff. But they're probably looking for my vehicle, which is not here. <laughs> it's how stupid they are. And there's TPD. Surely not. Oh, I did get a few little hand gestures. But anyway, um, looks like we'll make a few phone calls, and I will be. Uh, I'll be back. Give me a little bit, and uh, I'll see you here in a minute. Not now. In a minute, maybe later.